Everyone, we're back again. We're gonna make one of my childhood favorite desserts, funnel cake. It reminds me of the State Fair in New Mexico growing up. We're gonna be making a classic funnel cake with just some powdered sugar, like a churro type funnel cake with cinnamon sugar, a spiced chocolate ganache, and a creme on glaze. And then we're gonna be making a funnel cake with a whipped vanilla chantilly cream with macerated strawberries with orange zest and fresh mint. We're gonna be loading all, all three of them up with powdered sugar because you gotta, you gotta put the authentic stuff. Let's get cooking. It's super easy to make funnel cake batter. Essentially, all it is is pancake batter, just deep fried. We're gonna put two cups of unbleached all-purpose flour. We're gonna put a teaspoon of baking powder and a half teaspoon of sea salt. Whisk all your dry ingredients together. To that, I'm gonna pour in my milk. We're using a cup and a half of whole milk. I prefer whole milk, it's creamier. We're gonna put two eggs. We'll do a quarter teaspoon vanilla bean paste. If you don't have vanilla bean paste, you can always use vanilla extract too. And just whisk all this together. We're looking for like the consistency of pancake batter. That's about the consistency we're looking for. All right, now that we have our batter all made, I'm gonna grab a cup and just a regular like Ziploc baggie. Now I'm doing it this way. You can use a piping bag if you have one at home or if you have one of those like fancy funnel cake contraptions, you can use one of those. Perfect, now this is ready to go. We're gonna set this aside while we make the fixings. To start, we're gonna get clean strawberries. We're gonna take off the tops on all of them. I like a more like chunky strawberry. So we're gonna cut them in like, like medium, medium dice. So all I'm doing is do, giving them a couple slices, just chunkifying them. They don't have to be perfect. We're gonna put those in our bowl. And this, I'd say this is like a quart. And we're gonna get some fresh washed mint. We're gonna stack it on top of each other just do like a nice quick chiffon on. We're just gonna do a quick little run through. It's about almost two tablespoons of chiffon on mint. I'm gonna throw that right on top. We're gonna do one, two, three, like, like four tablespoons of organic granulated sugar. I like using sugar cane. Make sure it's organic. Now on top of that, we're gonna put the zest of one orange. Wash your orange and dry it off too. So you wanna make sure all that moisture is dried off so it will zest properly. Let's do a little vanilla bean paste. Like I put less than a quarter of a teaspoon. The sugar is gonna help draw out the moisture in the strawberries. And a small glass bowl. Beautiful. And we'll set that aside until we're ready to use it. Next, we're gonna make our vanilla chantilly cream. About a cup of heavy whipping cream. Two tablespoons of organic sugar. And we're gonna put a little bit of powdered sugar in it too. And we're going to put some vanilla bean paste in there. Just a quarter teaspoon. We're just gonna whisk this up. This actually whipped up a lot quicker than I anticipated. It honestly only took me maybe like two minutes. Let's give it a little taste. Delicious. Spatula this into a glass bowl and put it into the fridge. All right, next we're gonna make the chocolate ganache. So this is just uh, dark chocolate chips. So right here, I just have like a medium sized cooking pot with about an inch of water in there. We're gonna turn the flame to about medium high for now. And we're just gonna set our chocolate chips right on top of there. This is just a simple double boiler. And a good rule of thumb when making ganache to know how much heavy cream to use is you you add it until, until it's shiny. We need more cream. 
almost there. It's not not shiny enough so far. When it's all said and done, I think I'm going to end up using a half a cup of cream. If it looks too grainy, don't worry. It just means you need more cream. See how that all came together? And to that, we're going to add a little more than a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And just like a little dash of cayenne pepper. Just going to funnel that right into a squeeze bottle. Just to make it easier to pour on top. And that's perfect. So we're going to make a simple creme anglaise. We're not going to overcomplicate it too much. Start off by separating our yolks from our whites. We'll use like six, six yolks. All right, now to our egg yolks, we're going to add some of our organic sugar. Let's see, it's about two tablespoons. Let's do four tablespoons. All right, now that we've beat that for about a minute, about a quarter teaspoon of vanilla bean paste. I know I've been using this a lot, but I really like it in desserts, so I'm gonna keep using it. And then to that, we're gonna add about a cup of milk. We're gonna add about a cup of heavy whipping cream. Now we're gonna put our creme anglaise mix on top of a double boiler, stir until it starts to get thick. It should take us about 10 to 15 minutes. So right here I have about a cup and a half of granulated sugar. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of cinnamon. Reminds me of cinnamon toast growing up. So we're gonna set this aside. All right, so I just got some scissors and I cut a little tip in the end. Hold it close over and pipe it in circles, zigzags. Go all crazy. Go to the outside of it too. There we go. Now my oil's probably at 350 degrees. If you have a candy thermometer, you can use that. Now that it's been about two minutes, we're gonna go underneath with our spider and our little tweezers and give it a nice little flippy flippy. Beautiful. We're going to put it right into our cinnamon sugar mix. And once it comes out of the fryer, instantly put some powdered sugar on that. It's gonna kind of melt and adhere to it. Don't be shy with the powdered sugar. It was super generous. So right here, I have just the plain one set aside with powdered sugar on top. Now let's plate up the cinnamon sugar one. Oh yeah, and zigzag that right on top. We're gonna do our creme anglaise on top of that. Be super generous with that too. That's that one. Let's set that aside. And we're gonna garnish our last one. Let's see, with this, we're gonna put generous amounts of our whipped cream. We'll do like two spoons. Get it all over. Oh yeah. We're gonna get our strawberries. And we're just gonna pour those right on top. Let them fall from heaven. There's a little bit of like strawberry syrup at the bottom. And I just drizzle some of that on top as well. So there we have it. Funnel cake, three different ways. Right here we got a plain one with powdered sugar. The macerated strawberries and the chantilly cream and powdered sugar. And then we got the chocolate ganache with the creme anglaise. Let's dig in. Oh, real quick. Sorry about the lighting. It's a little dark right now. It took a couple hours to make all this. Let's try this one first. All right, it's good. 
Honestly, you can't go wrong with, with the classics. They're the classics for a reason. Things homemade just taste better. That is bomb. Now let's try... Let's try this one. And then this is our cinnamon sugar one. The chocolate and the creme anglaise. Oh yeah. Wow. That slops. That is so good. The texture is amazing. You have the crunchiness of the little sugar, cinnamon sugar mix. When you're biting into it, you got this nice little like, like crunchiness. The chocolate is so silky and smooth and delicious. And the creme anglaise is just perfect. This one I'm looking forward to the most because strawberries are my favorite. All right. I want to make sure I get a lot of strawberries on that bite. All right. Mmm. Yep. Yep. This is my favorite. I mean, this is so good. It's it's like strawberry mint heaven is what this is. This is definitely the winner. This is this is close though. This is close. Depending on my mood, this might be my favorite. But I can't go wrong with strawberries. So yeah. There you have it, everyone. Super simple to make. Funnel cake three different ways. And honestly, you, you can you can put whatever you want on these. The sky's the limit. Until next time, let's go.